I'm just uh, walking behind Walmart, just looking around, and I see there's a lot of interesting campsites. You can see there's... This is the furthest I went. I'm sure you could go further out. But, uh... Yeah. Interesting. I didn't, uh... I think this, I didn't really think this existed, but it's for real. You can see around there. Yeah, it's an obscure little trail. As you can see, we're coming upon this. And uh, it's, it's well walked on. There's definitely tracks, but it's completely emptied out, so I'm going to just make this little video here not sure what to expect as you can see we're coming up on it, I don't know if I'll make make it to the, the beginning of the trail at Walmart yet within five minutes or so there's a lot of interesting um, creativity going on for survival here um, you could, it's raining a lot, uh, a lot of trees can hide things. Not sure how the ground vegetation would look um, during the summertime, but uh, yeah, somebody's got a like a bottle thing for some reason. Not sure what that's about. You just kind of follow this this fence to get to here. Might be a toilet for the handicapped. Um, there's this kind of hut thing. But all this has been like torn down. I think everybody's gotten uh, run out of this area. And they had some belongings they left behind. But there's all kinds of trash. As you can see, a little activity. I don't doubt the cops come out here. You can see there's there's this and this is the fence you follow. The trail doesn't go down any further. I'd be interested to see what else would be down there. Um, but yeah, that's that's that. There's a there's this trail, and then this will take me to the Walmart. But, yeah, you can see there's there's been some life here. I looked on Craig's list once, and a guy was responded to me telling me about how people either sleep in the parking lot of Walmart or they'll camp out and back. And I decided to check out this camp, and it does exist. This fence covers private property. I'm not sure what they're protecting exactly. I can't see over the, the fence myself. It's something. It's just empty. Oh wait, there's probably a Walmart truck thing. I'm not sure. But this, this on this other side, it, it could be county land or private land that's just not being protected. Yeah. Either way, homeless people will come out here, or just maybe just regular campers with the tents and stuff. But they don't—they don't just hang out here. I'm not sure if it's because of the weather. It could be um, that they're being harassed. But who knows? It's nobody to ask at this time. It, you could call it a kind of a miserable day. People are probably looking for um, an escape out of this. It's been raining for the past few days. So that's that. That's the homeless camp behind Walmart in Bellingham. Not the greatest of living conditions. But if you need something in a pinch, this is it. There's a trail that takes you right to it. You just gotta go to the dead end and behind Walmart and there you go. Ooh, it's beautiful out here. Makes for a great setting.